Hi, my name is Piera, and today I'm going to be introducing a lesson on how to teach touch math to students who either have autism or need a visualization, and it's a great program. It's not a complete math program, it's a supplement you would use with your math curriculum. And on a, also on a side note, it's not the basics how you would teach basic math concepts to children, but you can teach it at the end of kindergarten, first grade, and high levels, because they also have touch money, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But today we're going to be doing the basics. Now, how you would teach touch math is you would show them the numbers first. You would start with pretty much just one, depending on their level, or three. And you would have them slide in a finger and say, one, one, two, trace the two, one, two. You wouldn't go on to two if they didn't master the first one. And to go on to the third, they have to master the second one and know that this one, two is the number two. And the third one, they trace three, and they will go one, two, three. It's also very important that they go in order of the number so they know the correct formation and how to do it. So, for instance, four would be four. So they will go one, two, three, four. That's four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, here's where it starts to get a little tricky. The six seven, eight, and there's also a nine, which we'll do in a minute. They get tricky because they have two. There's an outer circle, and there's an inner one. Now, the way I like to do it, just so it's visual for them and it's easy to fade out, is you call the outside circle one color, and leave the middle one like that, and you go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then there's seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, eight and nine are the same way. And you can also then fade out the highlight and just leave it white and they would know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you will leave out all of the circles. So they would know that this is eight, nine, et cetera, et cetera. Personally, <coughs> Personally, I like a touch math program as opposed to using bears or coins or the dots because it's easier to fade. It's very hard when you give a child a bear and you give them a problem like 3 plus 2 and there's 3 bears and then 2, then they have to count them individually. Then when you take them out, if there's nothing there, they visually cannot see it. So here's how the math problems would start. You would do 3 plus 2 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and they would write the answer. Then here's 4 plus 2 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 5 plus 2 equals, and it's very important to teach them the plus and the equals so they get used to it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. That's the plus 2, and here's the plus 1. Now to start feeding out what I like to do. Once again, you can once you get the hang of using the touch math, and there's also websites you can look it up on how to do it. But how you would also help I prefer to do it is you fade out from the top because by this time they should know the number. They would know that this three, the dot, is the same thing as this three. So they would just say one plus one equals one two. Two plus one equals. They would just say two three equals. Three. three plus one equals three, four, and write it down. Four plus one equals four, five. You would do the same thing if there wasn't a two. See, they had this problem, but it was four plus two. Then you would just say four plus two equals four, five, six. Then at the end, it would be a regular addition problem, where there was nothing there, but they would still visually, they would still visually see it on the piece of paper because they, was, they did the whole program and they mastered it throughout. So they would automatically look at the number and say, that's three plus two. And if they get stuck on a problem, they could just refer back to the visualization that they had in their head. And they could do two, three plus two, three, four, five. And that's the end of Touch Math program. It's very useful. It's very good. But it's used as a supplement.